Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we got a couple juicy rumors for you today surrounding the Game Awards. Now look, you guys know I've been a little critical of how the nominees are handled and a bunch of things surrounding the Game Awards, but I do look forward to the Game Awards every year. I'm just curious on... Uh, not only what wins the awards, but what Jeff Keighley is going to show. In the past, Nintendo's had a really big presence at the Game Awards, showing off Breath of the Wild in 2014, and then again in 2016, and a few other things over the years, really until Reggie retired. Once Reggie fils retired, who had a really good relationship with Jeff Keighley, we haven't really had Nintendo have a presence there besides winning some awards and having Doug Bowser go on stage to do so. But things, I think, are changing, and we have... A couple rumors here, a couple things to discuss around this, because it does appear Nintendo is going to be taking this year's Game Awards a bit more seriously and unveiling new things. Now, the first thing is maybe the biggest expectation, the most likely expectation, and that is that Mario movie, the Mario movie, is going to have a new trailer at the Game Awards. Now look, we already know a 90 second trailer has been already graded by the ratings board and is ready to go to be released at any time. So we already know there's a new trailer ready to go. We just don't know when it's going to come out. Well, there was a Twitter account that dealt with movie leaks that for some reason I can't find right now. I should have made this at this video at the time when I found the tweet, but it's whatever. The tweet basically said, hey, you've heard it here first, the Mario movie is going to be at the Game Awards, and it's a leak thing, so take that for what you will. Again, I can't find the tweet anymore, so I don't know if they deleted it. I, I don't know, but we know the ratings board is a thing, so we sort of have some stuff leaning towards the Mario movie being there anyways. It has an 80 million plus audience at the Game Awards. It's really big with international audiences, in particular in Asia. Nintendo's going to be releasing Mario movie in those territories, so I can see them wanting to take advantage of this and get some additional marketing in for the Mario movie. They show off other video game movies there all the time, so this would kind of slot right in. Now, the other more interesting rumor for many of us deals with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, Tears of the Kingdom is up for an award this year, most anticipated game. And I've gone on record saying that, hey, if Nintendo wins most anticipated game with Tears of the Kingdom, that Tears of the Kingdom would then get a trailer because it would kind of make sense to build up the hype for Tears of the Kingdom by winning this award and then you drop a trailer and we already have a release date and the hype cycle kind of begins. So you drop a trailer now, maybe we don't see the game again till the next Nintendo Direct probably in February, but still it would just kind of continue the hype train for a game we already have a release date for. It would make sense, but that was obviously just speculation. Well, I have some little birdies talking out there, some, some, some anonymous sources that I can't really detail too much because that's the whole point, they're anonymous, sort of telling me to expect Nintendo to have a couple big things at the Game Awards. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to be Zelda, but to me, a couple big things really lines up with Mario movie trailer and Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Again, that's my speculation on the second one. The first one, there actually was someone else saying that, and we have evidence with a trailer already being approved by the ratings board. So that's sort of where we're sitting, where Mario movie and Tears of the Kingdom, by my expectation, is going to end up being shown at the Game Awards. And Look, I don't know if that's going to make the Game Awards a really good show or a better show or a show that you guys want to tune into, but what I do know is it does excite me because I do want to see more of the Mario movie, naturally, and I do want to see more of Tears of the Kingdom. In fact, some are hoping, and I hope beyond all hope that this is true, that the Game Awards will feature the first ever gameplay for Tears of the Kingdom, where we actually get raw gameplay trailer instead of like pre-sliced, cut together stuff that we've gotten so far. And the expectation for that exists because the first ever time we saw raw gameplay or just, you know, gameplay in general for Breath of the Wild was at the Game Awards 2014. So it kind of would feel appropriate to sort of repeat the past and show us that raw gameplay and maybe Nintendo feels like a big reason that Zelda blew up is because they had it at the Game Awards so maybe Zelda in particular is that one franchise Nintendo goes hey Zelda and Game Awards that works that's the audience we need to drop it there they can argue maybe Mario or Kirby or Xenoblade or others maybe this isn't the right audience but Zelda proven they showed it at the game awards 2014 and then again in 2016 game blew up in 2017 you could see nintendo sort of connecting the dots and going that made a lot of sense then 
the audience is even bigger now, it makes even more sense today. So I guess we'll have to wait and see if they decide to go forward with that marketing campaign. But I think also with the sour taste in their mouth after, you know, Pokemon, even though Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is selling like gangbusters, obviously there's a lot of backlash over those games. It would be good for them to end the year on a positive note and showing the Mario movie and showing Tears of the Kingdom again is definitely one way to remind people, hey, Maybe you weren't impressed with this, but look what we have coming, both in cinema and on Switch. So I think that we are in for a treat. I know that kind of overshadows Fire Emblem Engage in January, but I think they have plenty of time to still market Fire Emblem Engage. They're actually marketing it all the time, releasing trailers and updates for those that aren't paying any attention. So Fire Emblem Engage is banging already in its cycle for release. Tears of the Kingdom isn't yet. We just have a release date, but we don't have the marketing cycle. And maybe this is what begins that marketing cycle. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.